Hi everyone, so today we're doing a winter outfits lookbook. Fall and winter are my favorite seasons when it comes to fashion because of how much we can layer. Speaking of layers, we're starting off with some winter must-haves. This is a black Uniqlo heat tech top with a scoop neck, and you guys, this top is so comfortable. I've been wearing it every single day. If you're unfamiliar with heat tech, it's basically a fabric that wicks away moisture and basically transforms that moisture, aka your sweat, into heat. I personally prefer thin thermal tops over thick ones because I don't like feeling bulky. For outfit one, I I'm also wearing these fleece line tights that I got from Amazon and I get a lot of questions on these on my Instagram. I'll have everything linked in the description box below. Back to the outfit, I'm wearing a gray skirt with a cardigan. I got this cardigan from the Oakenfort Warehouse sale and it's so comfortable. I paired it with some loafers and an oversized coat and we're all about color coordination here. So we got lots of gray, lots of gold. Because I have tan skin, I feel like gray really complements that. And have you guys heard about the color analysis test? I see it everywhere on TikTok, but basically where you find out which colors best complement your, your skin tone and hair color. I haven't gotten it done professionally, so I could be totally wrong about the whole having tan skin and gray matching with that kind of thing. But I also feel like you can totally do this at home through trial and error. Optional, but you can also add a bow. This is from Oaken Fort. It's so cute and it's pretty easy to put on So this is what it looks like and it's easy to put on because it has this metal clasp here that just bounces off and you just clip it in place and there you go Okay, so I messed up this part because I didn't know part of the bow was stuck But anyway, bows are so in this year and I learned recently that you can totally DIY this by just getting some ribbon and clasps off of Amazon And getting your glue gun and literally just pasting it together Or you can do what I did and go to a store For look number two, I have on a white cable knit sweater And this is from the Beverly Hills and Revolve collaboration It's so cute, comfortable, and it doesn't itch at all I paired it with a royal blue skirt that's also from the BHX Revolve collaboration And also got a brown belt on with a brown coat you guys i just love this fit so much it is so fall i feel like the brown belt really ties everything together with the matching coat and i've also got a black bag here with some loafers that i wore in my previous outfit if it's one thing you need to help with the cold it's heat tech this is uniqlo's white heat tech top and the difference between the first black top i showed and then this one is the thickness this one is much thicker with a fleece lining i have on a cream sweater from miss lola and the sweater is very unique because it has built-in shoulder pads i know that's not everyone's cup of tea but i think it gives a nice silhouette like makes me look more proportionate and of course we have the infamous sara shirling coat i got this last winter and i'm so happy happy to see it trending again which is honestly very rare because we all know trends come and go but i guess this one stayed but honestly i feel like this is a timeless piece so i love to see it here and i think it's really cute i also got here a very nice and soft scarf from zara as well i remember getting this right before my trip to whistler because i needed a scarf it was minus 20 and i remember this because this was actually last year so i got this right before we left for our trip and this is the full look oh just kidding we also got boots oh wait no this is another look <laughs> this is the next look okay so this is my base layer and to be honest the star of the show is this faux fur coat from oak and fort if you're looking for a faux fur coat you need to get this one because whenever i wear it out i always get compliments on it and to finish off i have my favorite pair of black boots these are the perfect pair of boots because they are super comfortable you got a classy pointed toe with a little bit of a heel and it sits right under your knees which is amazing i feel like it goes with everything especially a skirt like i'm wearing right now I got this very cute velvet kind of like plushy um bag from oaken for as well it's super comfortable i've been really liking their stuff this year and this is the look it's giving classy it's giving elegant it's also giving like not too try hard but you kind of tried so i love this outfit it's probably one of my favorite ones for winter So again, we have a similar base for all of the outfits. This one here again is the Heat Tech top and we got some black trousers on this time. I feel like everyone needs a pair of black trousers. It's just such a fundamental piece to have in your closet. 
All right, so I have this beautiful faux fur coat and I will be honest, I posted this on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and some of you guys were saying that it's actually real fur and the reason why I don't know is because I actually thrifted this coat. I don't own real fur coats, so I did ask the SPCA worker there if this was real or not and if he knew and he said that it should be fake um, just because if it was real, they probably would have sold it for like a higher amount or I don't know so I got it anyway because I'm like this will be perfect for my upcoming trip to England so I'm just putting it on here and this is honestly probably the warmest outfit I have because the coat is really long and heavy I did bring it to my trip to Europe and it was incredible I loved it so much I think I wore it almost every single day because it was really cold and then I'm putting on some boots here these are also very comfortable they're from Vagabond and I have my classic Chanel bag so this is just a very classic and simple night out look it's very comfortable and you are super warm. I feel like something I keep top of mind whenever I'm picking out outfits is usually finding that one statement item. So like the faux fur coat from previously, that was kind of like the star of the show. So while everything else is super simple, like got a black top and then black trousers, black bag, we got like that statement piece to kind of show that that's the main part of the look that's like the meat of the sandwich you know so it's kind of what i like to keep top of mind because i don't want to like draw the attention away from the coat um like let's say i have like on like a sparkly top and so that would draw away the attention so that's kind of what i keep in my mind when i'm picking out outfits so when i brought this coat with me to london literally a week ago um one night it was pouring rain and let me tell you we didn't even bring an umbrella with us and we were pretty far away from home because we just came back from winter wonderland and i remember taking off my coat and running in the rain back to our airbnb because it was raining and we had no umbrella i want to soak my coat and you know anything that's like if you mix fur with water or like anything else like oh it's just like the worst combination ever so anyway i just remember that because it was so funny and it was kind of traumatizing because it was really cold outside but i had to do what i had to do This next look does not have a base layer. It's more of an indoor winter outfit. So the top was thrifted and I got all my black Mary Janes, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I also have a black bag with silver studs, which I also thrifted. And when I tell you this thing can pack a lot, it can pack a lot. I just don't have anything in there right now for the purposes of this video. So this is the whole look. I also forgot to mention that I have on these black high-waisted jeans from Revolve. These are so comfortable. And for accessories, I have a pair of black earmuffs with a black belt as well. And I feel like this look is just so cute. It's so put together and I love all the little details. On the same topic of off-shoulder sweaters, we have on the Viral H&M off-shoulder sweater. I love this so, so much. I did share a video on Instagram. It's basically this top and it's super comfortable. It's so chic. And again, I'm just pairing it with the high-waisted white jeans from Revolve. And I got on some platform Uggs. This is in the shade Chestnut, I believe. And I also have my pull-in bag in the regular size. I feel like to really complement your shoulders when you're wearing these tops to put up your hair in a bun. For this part of my video, I'm just going to give a preface. I'm going to be showing you three of my favorite pink sweaters for this fall and winter season. So the first one is this off-shoulder pink top. I paired it with this pair of cream trousers from H&M and honestly just ignore <laughs> the little strands on my shirt i know i didn't take those off yet then we got on of course the platform uggs i love these so much they are super comfortable and cozy the next sweater here is a turtleneck oversized sweater from h&m and look at the sleeves i love it so much it's always a cute little details for me 
I decided to tie together this look with a pair of pink earmuffs that I got off of Amazon. These are so cute and honestly keeps my ears very warm. I feel like this is the perfect look or prototype if you want to just go to a cafe, take some cute photos, and just kind of go about your day with your little coffee in your hands. So I love this look so much and the sweater is honestly just so comfortable. The third and final pink sweater and probably my favorite is this one. It's from H&M and it's also oversized and the reason why it's my favorite is because of its neckline and how long the sleeves are. I feel like oversized sweaters, it gives off a more effortless and chic feel in comparison to a more fitted sweater unless you're going into the office you don't want to look more relaxed even though obviously we all want to um, but I feel like this is the perfect sweater I feel like I don't remember this part but I guess I put on a coat and this coat is from Oakenfort it's more of a pink shade but it's coming up as beige on camera and I got on the same Zara white scarf and it's super comfortable love this look we are down to the final three outfits for winter I got on this really cute faux fur collar top with faux fur sleeves as well well, this is from Yes Style and I got it last year. I feel like it goes so well with any holiday party you have if you don't want anything sparkly or super out there. I feel like having faux fur in your holiday outfit is a very safe choice. I'm wearing the same white skirt from Oakenfort and then I got on my fleece line tights which I absolutely adore. I wear these so much. Then I have my Hermes loafers and this black bag with gold detailing from the Ardennes holiday collection. Okay, this look is kind of giving ballerina right now. I'm going to be putting on an oversized black leather jacket. I thrifted this a while back and it's my go-to leather jacket. It's, if it's something you need that will keep you warm, not because of its fabric, but because of how heavy it is, it would be this leather jacket. Because let me tell you, this jacket is so heavy. It literally gets me sweating, but not in the winter time because instead of sweating, it just keeps my body at a normal temperature. The scarf is from Oakenfort and I got on my classic favorite Dolce Vita boots. This outfit is also such a classic winter outfit because you have your leather boots, your leather coat, and then fleece slide tights, you got a scarf. It's just very typical, but I decided to add a little pop of color. So this is the Uniqlo crescent bag, I believe, moon crescent bag in maroon. And I love this pop of color because it's heavily contrasted against the black. It's just a really nice cherry red. Okay, the final outfit here is more of a practical one. So I got my Uniqlo Heat Tech top, a headband, and some white Allbirds sneakers. For someone that has bunions, these were incredibly comfortable to walk in. I wore them to the airport, on the airplane, and all around London. They were amazing. We're gonna do a puffer jacket. This one is from Alok. Okay, this Alok jacket claims to be water resistant and guess what it is? I walked around downtown Vancouver and we all know Vancouver for its rain. I walked 20 minutes downtown in the pouring rain and it kept me dry. They also have what they call alternative down in the coat so love it so much and I just like how the black contrasts with the white and not to mention they also have a detachable hood so we love that two-in-one wear. And that comes to an end to my winter outfits 2023 lookbook. I really hope you guys found something helpful from the video. If you have any questions please let me know. Thank you all so much for the support and I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.